Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Noah and I are just gonna clean some snakes today and we had a lot of rain here the other day. We're kind of in the middle of it. We've got more rain coming. So we had snakes pairing up. I wanna show you some of the ball pythons that are likely ovulating and, and having that little bit of gravid glow. You know, like when a, when a woman is pregnant, people say she has this glow. Well, the same thing happens with ball pythons. They get this bright shine to them. Then we got some snakes that have also shed out and I'm just gonna bring you guys along for all of it. Noah, are you ready? No, she's just, she's just loud and hissy, but she's not gonna do anything. I promise, look. See, look at this. See that? Man, why is she good? <laughs> you have to just be more deliberate, bud. You just, you just have to be more deliberate with her. Try, tr tr trust me, just trust me. Mean? Just means grab her and don't be afraid. If I get bitten, I'm blaming it on you. That's fine. You can blame me. Now come get her front. You have to control the first third of her body. Try again, come on. A little further back. There you go, perfect. I got Roxanne and I got Roxanne. Almost, look at, look at the back. Look, turn around and look at how she's looking under the cage. You gotta get that part off. Mm. There you go. I got Roxanne and I got Roxanne, I got Roxanne. Get her tail, get her tail. Hey! <laughs> that was hard. I'm sure some of you guys have seen Noah wrangle Roxanne before. This is not his first wrangling session with Roxanne, but she's she's tough. She's tough. That's a lot of muscle in this snake, she but she's good. Tough. Even though she's hissy, we trust this snake very much because she's, huh, you're a good snake. Remember when we lived in Jaden's house, we would let your snakes um, crawl on the stairs? Yes, that was a lot, that was a lot of fun. She's strong. Oh yeah. And you're dramatic. <laughs> Give the kid a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, that's hard work, that's hard work. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to hold a snake like that before, but if you have, you know, it's not easy. Now this is Bubbles, our champagne female, and she's not in that glow that she was in anymore. I guess uh, it's possible that the glow just happens when they're ovulating and like before they ovulate. That's kind of when I actually notice the glow. She has a bit of a glow and she's actually ovulated at this point now. So she's, she's gravid. She's got this nice swelling on her belly. I don't know if you can really tell from this shot. And this is kind of, I like to do this also, hold, let them get a vertical like this for a bit. It, I feel like it helps them move the eggs down a little bit and just works their muscles a little bit so they're strong and able to push the eggs out and not be egg bound. I feel like it's a good thing for them to hang like this a little bit when they've, after they've ovulated, just to get those eggs in better position. But you can kind of see the triangulation of her spine, how it's raised up. And that's another sign that um, she has ovulated and is gravid that I look for. She was paired with a coral glow pied, so hoping for some champagne coral glow pieds. Well, het pieds. Good looking snake. This girl was produced by Mr. Ben Rank. <laughs> This kid is 
worried about a corn snake. He's wrangling Burmese python, but our little corn snake gives him more fear. Is that accurate? Wait, what's that? Oh. <laughs> oh, I s yeah, it gives me more fear. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh, he's in shed too, bud. Is that? He's got a higher chance of getting bit. I don't want to hold him. See what you're holding. Please don't bite me. And if you do, don't do it on the fingers. Just be, just be confident. Be confident and you won't get bit. Okay. You're doing a good job. I'm definitely doing better than last time. Please don't bite my nuts. I'm not gonna bite you, just those mm -hmm. are curious little tongue flicks. The, o the only reason he's bit you in the past is because you held him like a doof and don't support his body and he gets scared. Now you're holding him very well, so he's not scared. Eh? Yeah. Hey, no, just hold him. Support his body, don't I drop him. I don't want to get bitten. Uh, take him, take Bud, him, please. Relax. I don't want to get bitten. Just relax. Support All right, take him, take him, take him. <laughs> <laughs> that part of the video i will be furious at you take a lesson from dave coffin boy if you say that you don't want me to post it i'm gonna post it <laughs> i don't want to bother this girl too much but this is our cinnamon sunset female and she is named bridget and she is going to be laying eggs any day now it could be tonight for all we know This girl just shed out for us and she has some massive follicles going on in her. This is Princess. She is a 100% het clown piebald and she may make our, the first clown pies we've ever produced over here at Triple B. And especially on these spots right here, you can tell usually those spots are like kind of a, a much darker brown, but they're very, very light, almost yellow and super light tan. So that's kind of an example of the glow. That splot right there in particular is usually like four or five shades darker than that. If you take a look at her beforehand, then you can really see it. And even her, even her head is really light. This little head stamp up here on top of her head is very pronounced, which sometimes you can barely see that head stamp because the rest of her is just the same color. But that's that glow I'm talking about. It's just obvious and vibrant. Like look at how bright that spot is on top of her head. It's not usually that bright. And you see these oranges up on her side too. Just super vibrant and glowing beautiful and this is garkia our mojave cypress and she is big but i haven't palpated any follicles in her yet she might just be starting to produce them but this could be the year that she goes and we've paired her with a clown pastel and she clown so hoping for some pastel and she mojave cypress heck clowns from this girl at some point yeah yeah mmm mmm Looking good. I just want to take a second to thank so many of you guys too for tuning into the live stream that we did. It was a big success, it was a lot of fun, and also for all the people that reached out that said that we had inspired them to do positive things with their life, not necessarily from the peace stream, but just in general. Uh, it feels good to do that for folks and make people feel better about what they're doing and inspire them to be better. Oh it's great, God. fantastic, love it. What um, have you done to yourself? You can kick those legs all you want, but you'll never kick out of these hands. If you had claws, you would. A little bull. Oh! You went pee on me. Ew. Hey, Noah. 
What? What do you know? I know. Being peed on by an African bullfrog. <laughs> what about being peed on by an African bullfrog? <laughs> that I'm being peed on right now? It's really disgusting. You might think it's water coming from the back, but it's not. And it's pee pee from a bullfrog, and it's really disgusting. And that's all I know. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> still peeing. That's so much pee. <laughs> Hello. What? What do you know? That fishies that we can't find fishies. We can't we can't find fishies? No. Why not? Because they're in the deep. Ah, they're in the deep. And we can't check them. Because they're in the deep? Yeah. Can you tell us about the storm? The storm? Knock down the trees. That's going to do it for us here today. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you next time. Aloha. <laughs>